Hi everyone, Kevin here. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to go through a quick do's and don'ts for porting your throttle body. Um, this is basically my buddy did his. Um, I told him how to do it and things like that. And anyways, then he watched the video and then he went and tried and do it, but I guess I didn't explain it properly or whatever. And what he ended up doing is he ended up, he ended up polishing out a little bit in here, or a little bit around the fin, which you can't do. Okay. So what I'm going to show you is I happen to have a brand new one as well. So I'm going to show you what you should do and shouldn't do just so it's nice and clear. If you do the port video and then you can see it, I can fix this for him. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it back up in there and I'll turn it down for him and things like that and take care of it. But I'll show you what you're going to do. So I happen to have one. And just in case you want it, there's the part number for it as well. This is this is an AC Delco one. Believe it or not, I just have this sort of stored around because I bought it before when I was first doing ports and things like that. So I had it. So as you can see, the box is pretty old. It's been around probably since about 2009. Um, so I got one here. It's brand new. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can't really see it in the video and you can't see it too well. But I'm going to show you as far as you can go with the polish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black marker on here. And uh, I'll show you about as far as you can go with the polish. Taking this out. Taking this side out as well. Um, as well as the back lips and things like that. So there's a little mark where it machined. To allow the fin to open. So it goes back a little bit this way. And what it does that way is it totally closes it off. And then as it moves forward, it opens up a little bit. So if you end up touching some of this in here when you're polishing, and when it goes back to close it off, it'll actually keep letting air through. So it can't shut it right off. So if you're looking at it, and if you're looking at your throttle bottle this way, you can see little gaps here and here, right? But then when you put it in reverse and you hold it up to light, you can actually almost... No light gets around it, so that means no air is getting around it. It's choking it off more versus opening it up, right? Okay, so I'm going to put some marks here, and I'll show you guys. This is the absolute farthest you can go back with a port and polish on an LS throttle body. And this is an LS2 throttle body, so it's for 2005, 2008, okay? And you can tell the difference by the fins as well. So this one's a silver fin, and the LS3s are a gold fin, and they actually operate in a different direction. So I'm going to put some marks on here so you can kind of see and give you a little better idea of the maximum distance you can go back with a port. Okay, so I put the lines here, and you can pretty much see... So when you push it backwards, that's the absolute farthest you can go. With polishing or anything like that, I wouldn't pass that point. Because this is the total shutoff position. So when it's, it goes in reverse, it's totally close. There's no airflow getting past it. And then as it moves forward, it allows more air all the way until you fully open. Okay. So when it's in this position, you can't polish past this point on the one side as well as this point right there on the inside. Okay, and I would even stay a little bit away from it because you definitely do not want to take any material off there or you'll mess with the whole thing. And then the same with the front, you don't want to go past there because you can see when you move it in the light, there's actually no light getting through the bottom part of it as well. The biggest material you're gonna end up taking off is usually right around here on this side until you get to that line because this is a hump it probably when you flatten it out it comes back to about here and on this side there's a big hump right here and that's what you end up taking off okay the thing about it is you definitely have to make sure you do not go past that point the other thing like I said before is when you're taking this off right this part here you want to mark it you really don't have to take it off to make sure that you don't machine or polish past it. But, you know, I usually do. So I just put a little T on it. I'll mark it there as you can see in my other video. And then I'll put a T here.
and I'll mark it that way so I know that this was the top, this was the top, they go back that way, and then I'll scribe a line across here, scribe a line across here before I take it off. So that's pretty much it. These are the things you have to make sure you don't do, okay? So when you're porting your port, a throttle body, sorry. So when you're porting your throttle body, those are the things you don't do, okay? So that's a difference you can see between the two of them. This one was ported, and it didn't do that bad of a job. It's a little rough, but, you know, it's not that bad. You know, he asked me not to mention his name or anything in the video, so I won't mention Steve's name in the video. So that way nobody knows it was Steve that did this. And Steve doesn't have to worry about ever anybody knowing. Okay, so sorry about that. I had a little phone call from work there. I had to jump off for a second. So, like I said, this is what it looked like. It's all polished out, and you can see, and as you can see, it's actually been polished past it, right? So, what it, what he's done is he's actually went past it. He was trying to make it all look smooth and pretty, and I'm sure, you know, he didn't mean to take anything off. But what he ended up doing is taking some off. And so, when it's closed this way, I'm going to get a light and I'm going to show you. So, what it is when it's this way... There's actually, you can see light coming around it. And then when you fully close it, you're not supposed to see that light, right? Because it's supposed to be fully closed. So, but there's just as much light going in the fully closed position as the mid position to mid open. So then on a new one, in this position, fully closed, you can still see a little bit of light, but it's kind of cutting off, right? You can kind of see it coming through just a little bit. It's just letting a little bit of air through. So like where you can see a lot of light there, you can kind of only see a little bit of light this way. So it's just a little bit of light getting through that way. So that's the difference. So basically what's happening for him is he's getting high RPM, right? So he's getting high idle RPM. So what that means is there's too much airflow going through because he's over ported, okay? So that's what you want to avoid. The difference when you're porting them is to do a good port job, you don't want to go past those points that I showed you in the video, which I'll run over one more time. So it's when throttle, that's the back position, fully open is this way, and this is the back position. You do not want to polish past that. I would say basically this surface, I would leave the surface as polished, already polished. And it's the same on this side. Don't want to go past there. And then on the forward position, it's going to be probably right to about somewhere around there. You don't want to go past there as well. Okay, so you want to make sure you leave that machine surface as much as you can in place. Basically, you're just taking off the rough spot. So if you put a marker line around there before you start, put a marker all the way around on all the rough stuff in between the uh, machine part and just don't pass that line and you should be pretty good. Okay. If you feel you have the skill set to do more, by all means do more, but uh, I wouldn't do much past that. Okay. I hope that helps you out and... Uh, Makes it a little easier for you to do your port and polish on your throttle body. Again, you know, just make sure that you don't take too much off. And just so you guys know, this weekend I'm going to be doing another video on uh, doing rear differential fluid uh, changes. So if you want, just look for that video. You'll see it somewhere on my channel. And you can see a rear diff doing. And I'll tell you why I'm using Breadline. Okay, take care, hope this helps you out.